Is the requirement to deliver V5 featured models to a customer stopping you from experiencing the benefit of CATIA version 6? Do you want to deploy version 6 and continue to co-design with suppliers using V5? Would you like to try version 6 in your own department without changing the entire company? CATIA V6 R2012X creates new process opportunities with feature-level collaboration between version 6 and V5. As an automotive design engineer, I need to respond to a change order. I'm accessing CATIA version 6 through the 3D Live portal, and I'm loading the correct design environment using the 3D Compass. To address the change at a functional level, I'll sketch out and create a new fixing attachment. I'll add some features, but I'm going to send this part to my supplier for completion and detailing. I know that my supplier, Dominic, uses CATIA V5, so I'm going to select the As Result option. That simplifies the part to make it readable by the previous release. This is exactly the same process I used in V5 when we had to send models to a previous release. We have a lot of ongoing V5 projects here. In the model Paul sent me, I can see the 3D geometry and the product structure from version 6. Paul has transferred the model to me as a result, meaning I see a single solid in the model tree. The geometry is exact, but I don't have access to the individual features. Just what I need for this job. I simply make my modifications by adding design features. I add some manufacturing detail, such as fillets and draft angles. Now I merge the new body with the main solid. Finally, I complete the part definition on the combined geometry. In this project, I'm sending a fully defined part back to Paul. He can use it as is, with no further work or conversion. With the latest detail design from Dominic, I can read his V5 model directly into version 6 and replace my functional concept. I'm happy to know that this works, just what I've done for years between releases of V5. This is great. It allows me to get the job done, but there are times when I'd like to share feature level definitions to support co-design. For example, in the early phases of a project, the part can change frequently. And sometimes, Dominique is the best person to suggest a change. If we could both make changes and iterate, that would be great. Dominic tells me that sometimes it would be really useful for him to have access to the feature semantics and history. But to do that, we both need to be on the same version and release, don't we? Until now, feature-level collaboration was only possible when users were tied to exactly the same version and release of any design software. Not anymore. CATIA V6 R2012X delivers enhanced downward compatibility with feature-level collaboration between CATIA version 6 and V5. Here modeled in version 6, I have a pulley pump wheel. You can see the specification tree and the features. I'm going to send this to Dominic, but this time I'm going to use a new option, as specifications. This will preserve the features and give Dominic the flexibility he's been asking for. Wow, this is new. Paul sent me this new version 6 model, and I can actually see all the features. Not only can I see the features, but I can modify and edit them directly. Let's change from three to four instances on the circular pattern. That'll make it lighter. With just a double click, I can change eight single-edged fillets. If that had been with an as-result model, that would have been a long and drawn-out process. Now I'll modify this plane, which drives the length of the bus. This is great. The OEM design rule intelligently guides me to respect the maximum length of the bus. Without this, I could have wasted a lot of time. This knowledge wear, created in version 6, has been preserved in the transfer to V5. Amazing. Dassault Systems is adding version 6 technology to V5. This allows the user to edit version 6 features in V5. There is another big advantage. The V5 user now has access to functions which were previously only available in version 6. 
V6 features in V5? I'll try that. Silhouette function. I've never seen that before in V5. Clearly V6 functionality. Let's give it a go. Now that's cool. I'll send it back to Paul. This upward, downward functionality is new to Katia. We have seen two things. First, how up to now V5 downward already supports some real working scenarios. Secondly, we have seen how now a whole new set of scenarios support true co-design. In Katia V5, we can now take a version 6 model, modify the existing features, add new features and send it back to version 6. V5 will continue to be enhanced with version 6 technology. You can imagine how this will make it easier to engage in version 6 while capitalizing on your current V5 processes. Nobody else in the market provides this level of flexibility between versions. Given the value of version 6, you don't have to wait for others to make the change from V5.